guys, so today I'm just going to be doing a quick video of my June favorites. Um, it is now July, it's July 2nd today, the day that I'm recording this, and I would have gotten this up a little earlier, but my grandma's here from Mexico, and yeah, so she's staying in the room next to us, and we've just been doing a lot of things with her, so I couldn't really film anything, um, but they just went out, so I thought I'd take advantage of this time. So let's just jump right into the video. So the first thing that is my June favorites is a primer. Um, so I'm just order of how I apply um, all of these things. The first thing is just my MAC um, Prep and Prime uh, Skin Refined Zone uh, Primer. And I've actually had this for a while, but I just, I've just i been recently playing around with primers and I just decided to use this one day. And it was really hot and the makeup stayed on like really nicely. Um, I barely had like any oils on my face. Um, so yeah, I've been really enjoying that the month of June. And yeah. So the next thing on my list is uh, the Beauty Blender. So I know uh, this has been like all over YouTube for a while. Um, had one of these in December, but then like a couple weeks later, um, I just had all of my makeup like on the floor by my mirror because I left my door open and my dog got it and she destroyed it. So I just recently picked this up in a, uh, a purchase on the Makeup Geek website. Um, and yeah, so I got two of these. I got like the double pack and it was like $23, which was actually pretty good because just one of them cost $20. So I thought I'd just go ahead and buy both of them and so the next thing that I'm going to be showing you is my CoverGirl At Last Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation uh, in 857. And this has an SPF of 20. Um, the one thing I really like about this is that it has a pump because pump a lot of foundations that I really like don't have pumps. So this is a really great aspect of it. I actually once again tried this uh, like a year ago maybe and I liked it but then I just like switched to Revlon and then I just recently started using it again and I fell in love. It gives me such a really, it gives me a nice uh, even coverage. Um, I think it's like medium to full uh, like right in between for me and I applied this with the Beauty Blender and it just goes on really nicely it blends out really smooth and I just love the coverage I just I love everything about it like um, it's it's supposed to be a concealer foundation and I think like a primer or something like that so I just really like using this like for all of those purposes and yeah I just I've been really using that like every day in the month of June. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is concealers. So the first concealer that I've been loving like the past couple months and especially like June is the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, for dark spots and this is in medium deep and I just I really love this. It really covers up uh, any red or uh, uneven skin tone, uh, acne and stuff like that. When I don't want to wear a full face of makeup, this is what I use and I just really love how it covers up everything. Like it's just so amazing. This concealer I'm going to show you is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the color Light 10. This is a really good concealer um, to brighten this up. Like using the Beauty Blender, it really just makes everything look so like not dramatic, but it just it makes it pop, and it just it just looks flawless, like a really nice highlight. And the one that I use when I don't want it to be so like um, to the highlight to stand out so much is in 20 Sand and also uh, 25 Medium for just like a natural cover up under the eyes. And the next thing I'm gonna be showing you is a powder and this is what I usually set my makeup with and this is the Revlon Color Stay Powder. And this is in the color medium, light medium. And I just really, ooh, so dusty. I really like how this lasts um, 
on my face. It doesn't make me like greasy after like an hour. Um, it just really makes the makeup uh, look really flawless and it also gives a little bit of extra coverage so that's really what I've been enjoying about that. So the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is blush and one of my uh, favorite blushes of this month that I've been using ever since I got in it gotten it is um, a Milani baked powder blush in Coralina and that's just what it looks like and um, it kind of is like a peachy pink um, like a like like the name says coral um, and I just really like it for that nice flush of color and yeah so I've just been obsessed with that blush. I've also have another one that um, from Alani Rose de Oro that I really like, um, and it's just it's just a really good product. Next blush uh, product that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is the Maybelline Master Highlight uh, Blush. These are what it looks like, and I have two of them. One of them's in the color mauve, and the other one is in pink rose, and. Uh, I used this one in a video, uh, I think it was like a get ready with me and it just really gave a nice flush of color and it also gave a really nice sheen and highlight as well. So I don't really like to use highlights so this is like a good two in one, it gives me a nice flush of color and a really nice sheen. Yeah, and this one is in pink rose like I said and I'm actually wearing that today. It just gives me a really nice rosy color um, to my skin. And the brush that I've really lo been loving this month that I have I got in like the beginning of the month is the Creme Shop um, Blush Brush. And this is what it looks like. And it's so soft. Like it's so soft. Like the bristles um, don't hurt my skin. Like they don't feel scratchy or, or anything. And I actually used this again today to apply my blush. And I've just really been loving that brush and I got it at Marshalls for like four bucks like $3.99 and the next brush I'm going to be talking about is my all-time favorite crease brush this is a Soho crease brush if you can see that and this is uh, just amazing it's so soft I use it in my crease like every day like you don't feel again the scratchy feeling or anything like that I use literally use this every day um, but yeah it's really nice and long so if you want to get like a light you want to really just you know play around or anything like that or if you want to get really close um, to, to that you just grab it at the tip and if you want to like deepen anything out like precisely or anything like that I just I've been really loving that brush like I got it at Marshalls and it was $2.99 and it has to be one of the best crease brushes I've ever seen. The next thing I'm going to be showing you is the, I know I'm really late with this, but it's the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I recently just got this, I think the end of May. Um, so I've been using it pr a lot, uh, not pretty much every day, but I've been using it a lot this month. Um, it's just like, it has beautiful colors that I just, I don't even have something set, like a tutorial that I'm looking at or something like that. And I literally just like mix the colors and these just mix together so beautifully. The colors adjacent to it you can use together and stuff like that. It's just set up in such a nice like manner that like it's so easy for anyone to use. But I've been really loving this and now I see why people rave about it all the time. This thing I'm going to be talking about is uh, a liquid, not a liquid, a gel eyeliner and it's from Maybelline and it is in blackest black and I've been really loving this this month. Um, I recently just got it like in the middle of the month but I've been using it every day. Um, I have it on my eyes today. I don't know if you can tell. The brush that I use it with is the e.l.f. Um, angled eyeliner brush and this is a really nice thin brush and it just really helps get precisely um, on the eye, uh, tight line, eyelashes, whatever you want to call it. And it gives a nice look to my eye, like my eye makeup. The last thing I'm going to be showing you guys is lip gloss. Um, this is the Sephora 
Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color. And this is in the color Fig Luster. And I got this um, off the recommendation of It's Judy Time. She did a full review on these lip glosses and I absolutely love them. Uh, this is just, I guess I'll show you guys a swatch. Uh, that's what it looks like and when I apply this it just like it goes on really smooth and creamy and the, the applicator kind of tickles my lip a little bit I don't know if anybody else has that problem or it happens to them because it is like unbearably ticklish like it's so hard to put this lip, lip gloss on but I've been really loving that because it dries really nicely and it just looks really nice. And the last thing I'm going to be showing you guys is another lip gloss and this is from NYX. It's the Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the color uh, Monte, Monte Carlo and this is what I have on my lips right now. I have um, another one and I forget what color it's in but it's like a pink, like a kind of like a Barbie pink. I put that on first and then I put this on top so I don't know I was just playing around with the lip glosses today. Show you guys a swatch as well. Plus it's really pigmented and creamy but yeah that's just what they look like and that's all of my favorites for this month. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if there was anything you guys want to see um, just go ahead, comment down below, subscribe, like this video, and be sure to check out my other videos as well. I am planning on um, getting a lot more out um, this month of July, and, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!